have a look how good this thing here works. Timber, PVC, electrical cable, metal stud. What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today we're going to be looking at a stud finder like you guys have never seen before. The Wallabot DIY2 not only detects studs behind your walls, it can also detect services. Whether it's plastic, metal, live or dead electrical cables, we're going to get a live representation on our phone to know exactly where and what is behind our walls before you drill, nail or screw straight into it. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. So one of the most expensive accidents that people have around the house is damaging the services behind their wall simply because they didn't know it was there to begin with. Using the Wallabot DIY2 we can scan the wall beforehand so that we know exactly where and what is behind there. Now I've created a little dummy wall for you guys with all the common services that you're going to find around your house. We've got a plastic water line known as a PEX pipe, we've got a copper water line, timber stud, metal stud, we've got our electrical cable and also a PVC pipe. Now a couple quick things, this one here um, will actually differentiate between timber and metal studs and will tell you live visually on your phone exactly whether it's a metal or timber stud. Not many other detectors can do that and also it'll detect live and dead wires which is super important because if you've got the circuit off and you drill, cut, nail, do whatever you need to do, it goes through that service you won't actually know about it until you flick the switch and it's too late. So using the Wallabot once again, we're going to simply connect it to our phone and I'm going to show you guys just how easy this is to use. So all you need to do is open up the app, switch it on by pressing that button down the bottom. You can see there the light is on, we'll press connect. And now what it's going to do is join the Wi-Fi network on my phone and pair it up with the actual Wallabot itself. So now these two here are going to work simultaneously. And then what we're going to do once this one here is connected, we're going to have to calibrate it. So that basically wants to scan the wall to know what kind of material we're working on. Um, and it'll scan that wall. We're now connected here. We'll press next, press calibrate. Now in order to calibrate it, all we have to do is start the calibration and start off with little circles. And then it's going to tell you to start scanning a larger area. So it should take about maybe 10 seconds or so, 15 seconds at most. And that is now calibrated. So now we've got two options here. We've got image mode and expert mode. I'm going to bring you guys in a bit closer and I'll show you guys image mode. So I've got my phone sitting on top of the wall a bit. If we start panning across, we've got there our wooden stud. It says wooden stud on the bottom. We've got a visual representation. And this thing here is actually spot on. If we have a look in the middle of our wallabot there, we've got a little indicator in the middle or an indent. We can use that to find the edges of our timber studs. And it's actually very, very accurate. So we've got our PEX pipe here. You'll notice it goes blank. And then we're going to pick up our pipe. The reason for that is I've got a big bend on this pipe here so that we can actually trace it. Now, if we follow this one here along, You'd never expect that the pipe is running there. It looks like it's running straight down. And I did this intentionally so you guys can actually see how easy it is to trace. We'll come up to the top. We've got our copper pipe right here. Now this one here doesn't actually differentiate between pipe or wire. It just says it's one or the other behind there, which is enough to tell you don't put a screw or drill straight through there. Once again, wooden stud. Bring that across. We've got our metal stud right here so it differentiates between the two. Metal stud, wooden stud, very, very accurate and fast. We've got our wire running right down here. So once again, live and dead wires, PVC pipe, but have a look how fast it is to pick up everything. PVC pipe, electrical wire, steel stud, wooden stud, pipe, PEX, and timber stud. So if we switch over from image mode to expert mode, you can see that we've now got a red blob there in the middle. What we're getting here is raw data. So you can use the raw data through trial and error to try and help you differentiate between items behind your walls. What I'm going to be using it for mostly is detecting rodents because this can detect movement behind the wall. You can see there my fist moving around on that wall there. And this is going to be super helpful to detect rodents behind the walls. I'm also going to be testing it out to see if you can detect beehives, because during summer, we usually get a lot of beehives in people's walls. And this will be very interesting to know exactly where the hive starts and stops simply by using expert mode. But for me, personally, image mode is so easy, so fast, so accurate to use that you can't go wrong. 
So there you have it guys, the Wallabot DIY 2 is an easy way to know where and what is behind your walls before you start cutting, drilling, screwing or nailing into it. Hopefully this video is going to help you guys out and save you some money. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.